This is going to be another build, uh, video that's going to build on to other videos I've done uh, to create a final project here soon. Uh, it's going to be our first look at Bluetooth from the command line as well. Um, and I'm just going to show you a tool called uh, HCI Tool. And uh, it's installed on most versions of Linux by default. Uh, my Nokia N900 uh, came with it installed. And uh, it's used for simple Bluetooth uh, communications. And how we're going to use it today is with the scan command. I'm going to hit uh, enter here. And it's going to start looking for any Bluetooth device uh, in range that is visible. Now, currently, it's not going to find anything right here. It's going to try for a while. If it doesn't find anything, it tries for a longer time than if it does. Um, so you see we didn't find anything. But I've got my Wii controller here. Uh, and uh, by pressing the 1 and 2 at the same time, it will put it into uh, uh, visibility mode. So I'm going to press 1 and 2 on my Wii remote, run the uh, HCI tool scan again, <clears throat> and hopefully here in a few seconds we should see the MAC address for the Bluetooth device inside my Wii controller, and here we go, it says uh, that it's a Nintendo, it gives a little description on whatever the name of the device is. So uh, that is one way to scan and find uh, Bluetooth devices. And uh, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put in a loop and log it to a log file. Now, uh, there's probably more efficient ways to do this than what I'm going to show you, but this is just a quick and simple, dirty way of doing it. So that same command, but we're going to put it in a while loop. So while one uh, do, we're going to go to the end here and put done. So that will loop forever until we give it a command to stop. Uh, but we want to save the output into a file, so we're going to do the uh, double uh, greater than symbol, and we're going to put it into, we'll just call it blue.log, and I'll hit enter, and uh, the way we have it written now, we're not going to say output on the screen, so, you know, output's pretty good, so I'm going to hit control C to kill that, I'm going to put an extra little command in here, and I'll just go echo scanning and then uh, I'll put in the date command here and now every time it loops as soon as it's done with that uh, scan it should print out on the screen scanning and then date and time so let's see it's looking there we go so that way we know that it's continuously going and how fast it's going in between each uh, loop. And uh, I'm going to hit the 1 and 2 button on my Wii controller again. I got the blue flashing lights. Let that run for a few seconds there. And after the end of this next loop, whoop, see how it's going faster now? Because it found something it's going to keep on displaying that. I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to cat out our blue log. And you can see that it's been repeated in here. It's found that device quite a number of times there in just a few seconds. Uh, we can always put that through a sort dash u for unique. And there we go. It narrows out. So that way, if we had multiple different Bluetooth devices, this would display each one only once. We can also go into our loop here. And if we want to put a sleep command, probably should do it after this part sleep and have it sleep for a couple of seconds so it doesn't loop too fast just depending on what you're doing so that's just a quick fun way uh, to play with Bluetooth and log devices around you you can run this on your Linux based cell phone such as the uh, Nokia N900 put it in your pocket just out of curiosity go to some public place and see how many Bluetooth devices you hit in fact let's do that here I am outside the Costa Mall, Naples, Florida, about to run the script that I just went over. Got my Nokia N900, which I'm also filming this with right now. I'm going to put it in my pocket after starting up the script that loops, checks for Bluetooth devices, and logs them to a file. Then I'm just going to walk through the mall for a little bit, and we'll see how many Bluetooth devices we pick up just randomly in the mall. Okay, I'm back home now, and I have SSH'd into my phone. Uh, we can do a list here and see that we have our BT log right here. That's why I named the log file. And if we do ls-lha, uh, uh, 
Uh, we can do that again, and now we get a list of all the files, and we can see right here that we've accumulated 13 megabytes into that log file. Uh, and the main reason it's that big is just because the uh, looping of the uh, script uh, gives us a lot of repeated information. Uh, so if I was to actually just cat out that log file, you'll see that it goes on and on, and you can see a lot of repeated stuff in there. I'm going to hit Control C to kill that. There we go. I'll clear the screen again. But we can cat that out, and we can put it through a pipe into sort, which we'll put it alphabetically, and then we can use the U flag to uh, just use unique. So it only shows one instance of each thing found. So we can hit enter there. Instead of showing us the whole file, it's going to read through it now and only show uh, each thing once. I'll give it a second. It's got to go through 13 megs of information. And there we go. We've got a list. Uh, these are the MAC addresses over here, and these are the names of the, uh, of the uh, devices. So now we can run that same command, cat sort unique, and then we can pipe that into WC, which uh, I've always assumed stood for word count. I really don't know what it stands for, but it's going to give us three numbers. It's going to give us the number of lines, the number of words, and the number of characters in the file. And the first one is the number of lines which right here is 74. And so that's telling us, minus this one line that says scanning, we found uh, 73 devices uh, walking around there. So uh, that's just a quick look, our first look at Bluetooth. And, uh, and it's just kind of an experiment for fun to kill time and uh, just to see how many things you can bump into. And um, if I had done this, uh, the mall was pretty empty today. If I had done this three weeks ago while it was still the Christmas rush, I uh, probably would have gotten at least three, four, maybe five times that number of hits. So uh, thanks for watching this video and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this and get ready for more Bluetooth uh, videos to add on to this one.